Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey, y'all. It's been a little while. Yeah. Contrary to popular belief, we're not dead we, yet. We're, we're not dead. We, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> yeah. The Monty Python fans will we'll get that. Life's been busy, man. It has been. Car wash has been busy. Life's been busy. Yeah, that's... Uh, but... And what's going to be funny is, for copyright or whatever... Like three videos are going to drop in front of this one. Probably. <laughs> this, is, probably. this is the first one uh, we've recorded since our little break. Many of you have noticed. Yep. Well, we so, got a bribe. It's a Stephen bribe. Stephen right? bribe. So Stephen asked for this particular song with a different bottle, but I don't think we've seen that bottle. I don't. I don't think we have. So we need to check the box. We didn't get a chance to check it today. Right. But we're going to do "God Bless Texas." With Clyde Mays. As soon as Dustin told me what song I needed to pull up, uh -huh. I was like, this is Steven. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did dedicate this to all the Texans that watch the channel. And there are one or two of you. <laughs> At least a couple. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, um, I hate to divert on Steven's song here, um, but you guys know we're not trying to sell you anything. True. We, we just... Do this we for we fun. drink whiskey and listen to country music. Nice pop. You almost <laughs> break your nose. I might have. Um, <laughs> rolled, I got to re yeah, go ahead. We don't edit. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so uh, but some of you have been asking for some BCR branded swag. Mm -hmm. And um, we're not going to do that because, frankly, that's, that's work. work. You know, and we if it feels like work, we're done. However, uh, Patrick. We've talked about him on the channel before. Patrick over at Light Source Engraving uh, saw the demand, and you can apparently get Bourbon Country Reacts branded stuff. Through him. Through him. Uh, I think he's putting together this thing, and it's like a flask, uh, logo flask. And some glasses. And, and some, some glasses, and it's all in like this wooden case. It's, it looks pretty cool. I think he's doing shot glasses right now. I think it'd be neat if he did, like, ball glasses. Rocks glasses. Instead of four, just do, like, two. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you guys tell him, because we're just recording videos. If he wants to do that stuff, he can knock himself out. That's him. That's, yep, that's him. Uh, so, what is this? This is called the Bourbon Enthusiast, by the way. Single barrel. Actually, it says it's exclusively for the Bourbon Enthusiast. Oh. So if you're not a bourbon enthusiast, you you're not allowed not, to buy this. I don't think so. Yeah, it's on the. Should we even be drinking this? I don't know if we qualify as bourbon enthusiasts. You well, know when we go to those events and everybody's like, "Oh, it's the bourbon country guys." We're like, "This happens to us." This now. happens, yeah, and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah, guys, we're just here for the bourbon." <laughs> <laughs> We well, ain't doing no education. Let's check out some. Uh, God bless Texas. Little little Texas. Man, does that have a ZZ Top vibe to it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'm going to start that over, but that's really, I mean, yeah. I half expected when I heard those chords to see three long beards or two long beards and the guy ironically named Beard that doesn't have a beard. Ironically. Lucy Tops from Texas. Maybe that's him. The resemblance to ZZ Top just ended. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Those are not ZZ Top vocals. Dallas cheerleaders. 
They'd fall off. Huh? God bless <laughs> That's awesome. My childhood crush was from Texas. Farrah Fawcett, man. She on my generation, she was on every freaking wall. Yep. What do you got to say? The, the problem with me listening to that song... Oh, God. ...was that I hyper-focused on the guitar. Of course you did. Right? Well, I guess that's kind of a thing for me. Obviously. And I was having all these comparisons uh, to Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. So, I'm like... Okay, one probably did not influence the other, and I think because they're probably coming from the same area, unless same era, unless they knew each other. Right. One probably, so there was probably a, I'm guessing there was a style of music getting played in Texas where that kind of guitar sound was, was, was kind of common. But the way the two players achieved that sound was very different. Oh. So they both used distortion to, to salt it. Um, but this guy was getting it largely with his slide, his slide techniques. He was getting that sound. Um, what are you... Gibbons didn't often use a slide. Okay. Uh, he, he would sometimes, but he didn't often use a so slide. Uh, he had what I called this dirty grind that he used with his right hand. Hmm. It was how he picked the strings that just kind of gave it a sound just like that without the slot. And one of the ways he achieved that, he always played with a peso as a pick. 
So he had a rounded edge hitting and grinding against those strings, and it just kind of gave it that sound hmm. without using a slide. That, that's all that was How going through my head. How did you know about the peso? Man, ZZ Top Guitar Works kind of legendary, right? Sure. I mean, it, it... You've done a little... You, you've, you've... For what I'm about to say, people from Texas will, will put a contract out on me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Billy was... You're going to piss Steven off. Hold on. I probably... Are you sure you want to say this? Yeah. But, oh, man. Texas people will defend ZZ Top to the death. And Billy was by no means a technical guitar player, right? He wasn't going to do classical arpeggios and, and, you know, all these speed scale runs and stuff. Not a tech... He's, he's that phrasing guy. Got you. Right? Got you. He, and he, he made the guitar sing. He, he made that guitar tell you a story. Got you. And that dirty grind that was his signature uh, is still... I've never really heard anybody replicate it. Um, this is the closest I've heard to it. Hmm. And guy was dude was using a slide to achieve it. I'm pretty sure I've heard this song in like a Texas Roadhouse or something. That would make sense. But oh, now that you say that, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? As soon as you said that, I flash back to sitting in one and hearing that chorus. But like I wasn't paying attention to it then, right? No. So, but I didn't have any clue that the song was about the women of Texas. Because that's what it's about. Well, that's what the video was <laughs> sure about. Well, I mean, but every even the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's, it, so you've heard Beach Boys' California Girls? Yeah, that's yeah. their version of that. I think so. That's that's what I got. I, I, I can see it. I think that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Is that what that song's called, California Girls? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wish they all could be California girls. That, yep. Yeah. 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 So, that's a neat little tune, Stephen. Yeah. Little Texas is who wrote this? I bet they're from Texas. No. You don't think? No, they're, they're from Arkansas. San Francisco. <laughs> that's, them's, that's what's going to get the contract out on your ass. Because them's fighting words. He's a dick. You know that. Damn. Stephen will probably forgive me. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> Stephen's like, they're cut off. No more. <laughs> yeah, good chance, good chance. <laughs> so. Grandpa Steven. <laughs> yeah, well, he is a grandpa now. Yeah. So, um, what do you think? Man, this is different. Uh-huh. Uh huh. My first drink, I was kind of blown away by the finish. Yeah, it sticks with you too. Like the finish is the brightest part of this this sip. It just, bam. It's got a little upfront pop too. You get caramel and cinnamon up front? Caramel and citrus. Hmm. And then a flash rollover to a ton of oak. A ton of oak. He's not joking. It's like you you're, you you took... So for me, it's almost like I took some big red gum, and then I started chewing on a log. A delicious log, but a log nonetheless. When you say cinnamon, you're thinking like red hot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's there. Mm-hmm. So there's citrus, a little bit of that red hot. Well, like big red gum. Uh, yeah. And man is the oak. It comes in with the, with the vengeance. This, this must spend some time in the barrel. In the barrel? Let's find out. While I'm looking for that, what proof do you have it at? Reasonably high. Um, I'm going to say about between 105 and 110. You're close. I actually thought it was higher than it is. Yeah. It's not smooth, but it's not it's flavorful. It, it is flavorful, and it's not um, it's not painful. No. But I thought it was higher than it is. It's 102. I was a little high too. So we both agree then that it's not smooth. Right. But but the flavor is great. Exactly. This this would be a good one to drink at some spot in the evening when you want to slow down. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it stays with you long enough that it'll it'll keep Man, you slow. Man, that finishes the Energizer freaking bunny. It is still going. <laughs> what? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, um, it stayed in the barrel for five years. 
which is actually surprising. Given it, how much oak flavor it has. Yeah, it tastes like about 15. It does. Honestly. It tastes like, you can taste a lot of oak in that. Yeah, maybe they did small barrels. We don't know. Uh, who knows. Uh, but, good song. Had quite a lot of 80s rock influence in it. Yeah, definitely. Um, did you hear that electric guitar? Oh, yeah. I, I think I noticed it. Did you? Yeah. I don't think you Wait, did. Wait, was there an electric? Yeah, wait. Guys, we're happy to be back. This is fun. That's why we do it. Steven, thank you again. Yep. Um, Steven, I, I need more songs from you, and hopefully by the time this drops, I've got some more. But I think this is the last song I have on the list for him. And we've got more bottles. We've got more bottles. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So unless, maybe there's some songs on the bottles. We'll check. I don't recall them you don't see any being there. there no. Okay. Maybe I'll shoot you a message, Steven. Yeah. All right. Hey, till next time, guys. See you. Oh, and... Uh, don't forget to check out Patrick over at Light Source Engraving if you want Bourbon Country React stuff. Do you want to tell them to do stuff for us, too? What? Like, subscribe. Oh, yeah. Share us with your friends. Let's run through this. It's been so long, I've forgotten. You it, forgot. We I had get, it down to We're going to have to get the whiteboard back up. <laughs> we did when we first started doing this. I swear to you, we put a whiteboard on. It's probably still over the, there. I bet it is. Yeah, with, with the cues, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. don't forget about this. Don't forget about that. Yeah, we're nerds. We don't. We haven't done that shit in a long time. But well, you gotta have that in the studio. Oh my god, your wife's gonna kill you. I'm glad she's not she's here not right here. now. <laughs> All right. So if you enjoyed this, there you go. Video. Reaction or video? video. We yeah. say video. Okay. Video. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a go like. ahead and give us a like. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Drop down into the comments. We're over twelve thousand subscribers now. Yeah. That's awesome. You guys rock. You, you, you are cool for real uh go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh tell us what country music we need to check out and what north american whiskeys we need to try i got it dude. you got I, it i, I remembered <laughs> till next time guys see you